Good day, Dr. Hannah. Hmm. Good day, Mr. William. Please take a seat. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, no need of asking you how you are feeling today. You seem well now. It shows in your voice. Hannah, this is the only way I can get to you. Why did you abandon me? Why did you forget me? What do you mean? Who are you? Have we met before in our lifetime? I'm your husband, Hannah. What have they done to your memory? And do you know about the whereabouts of your twin sister, Emily? Hmm. My twin sister died at bed. Why are you reminding me of my past? For you to know my twin sister, you must have known a lot about me and my family. Hannah, I'm your husband, the only man you have ever loved. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? You must have just escaped from a psychiatric hospital, right? Now listen, I have a man. That man has been my protector, my stronghold and my everything. You were legally married, Hannah, and you left with a pregnancy. Can't you remember? I tried to protect you but your dad was too strong for me to contend with. I see you don't enjoy your freedom, Mr. William. How dare you to claim what you're not? My husband will be here to pick me up any minute from now. I suggest you leave this minute. You have forgotten so fast the love we shared. We even researched a name to give our child when he or she arrives. But you left without looking back. Please leave my office this minute or I will lapse the security. I will leave, but I will always keep in touch. What is this man even saying? Wonders shall never end. Hi honey, sorry I didn't make it on time. The traffic jam or something else. It's high time you let me drive by myself. I don't like this delay at all. Hey woman, don't be mad at me. I have to take care of other things too. Christopher, our child is gone. I couldn't find Angela. I left Angela in the living room before I drove out. You should ask the neighbors about her whereabouts. What do you mean, Christopher? How can you be so reckless? Where do we look for this child now? I think we should report to the police about our missing child. <laughs> what are you talking about, Christopher? You mean you don't know where my daughter Angela is? Are you being serious? Excuse me, woman. Stop yelling at me like that. You are not the only one affected. I am hot too. Angela is my daughter as well. I will report to the police. <laughs> what is happening to me? Why do I feel like my whole life has been a movie? Which father will allow our daughter go missing? Order is custody. Hello, my daughter. What happened? Your call came in impromptu. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find my daughter, Dad. You can't what? How did it happen, my daughter? I left Angela with Christopher. But he can't actually give account of where Angela is, father. What kind of irresponsible man is that? He must provide Angela or face my road. I can sort this out with him, Dad. I know how your temper is. Please don't hurt Christopher. You don't know how long I have prayed for a grandchild. Now that I have one, I won't let her go missing over my dead body. Oh my goodness, Angela, my daughter, why are you doing this to your mother? Come back to me. Tell me where you are. I will spend my last card just to hold you in my arms again. Cuddle you through the cold nights and kiss you goodnight. The best father-in-law in the world. I'm not here for compliments, Christopher. I will go to the market and enjoy the chance of the market women if actually I need one. Oh my bad, sir. I can see you are not in your best mood today. You can't keep hurting that woman. She's the only daughter I have left. But we are also doing this for her own sake. Sir, having Angela around will make her regain her memory. And you know what that means for us. Enough of your games, Christopher. Return Angela to Hannah with immediate effect. I have given her out for adoption already, sir. You have done what? But that's our agreement. Why are you pinning all this on me now? I care about my daughter. Losing her identical twin sister is enough for me and I will bear the guilt for the rest of my life. Emily was my wife too. Do you think I don't miss her? I do miss her, sir, every single day. She do cross my mind. I really love her. Give me the address of the adoptees and I will go and bring Angela back myself. They are already out of the country, sir. Can you listen to yourself? They are out of the country and you will allow that? Listen, Mr. Smith, agreements and agreements. I gave them Angela and they paid me for it. It does not really concern me what they do with her. Excuse me. I feel so guilty right now. How will I face my daughter now? I have been a pawn in this guy's hand. What do I do now? 
How did you get all this information, Williams? I guess you are familiar with your father's voice and also Christopher's voice. Hmm. But how did you manage to get this? I want to end all these mysteries, so I have to do whatever I can to achieve that. You mean my dad and my husband had a hand in my daughter's sudden disappearance? Our daughter, not just yours. Please, I'm confused and I feel like I'm being manipulated and controlled. Who I am? What is going on? Can you tell me? I can help you walk through this, Hannah. Just close your eyes and relax your mind. Let me tell you what happened. Are you sure you're not going to hurt me? I dare not, Hannah. Just follow my instructions. Alright, eyes closed. Alright, Emily, your twin sister, was given out for adoption when you two were born. She was what? The woman who adopted Emily happens to be your father's concubine. One day, an argument ensured between your dad and her concubine in her house. Out of aggression, she slapped your dad. Your dad strangled her and tried to do her away with her corpse. But unfortunately for him, Emily caught him red-handed. She was about to escape too when your dad hit her head against the wall and she died. <laughs> my dad did all this to my identical twin sister yes hannah you were married legally to me and suddenly you changed you packed your luggage with my unborn child and moving with christopher who was married to your twin sister but he was your dad's pal we had a fight the day i was packing my stuff because you were trying to stop me exactly hannah can you remember now the very night of that incident i can remember i saw my dad's hand stained with blood he told me it was an animal that he accidentally hit with his car oh you are finally recalling what happened in the past hannah but why did i move out i can remember i visited my dad that day he took me to a hospital i had a doctor performed hypnosis on me my dad said it would help me to forget about my late mom and my twin sister quickly he manipulated your memories. He planted Christopher as his accomplice. Your late twin sister was the original heir to your dad's property, but he changed your identity to hers. Your name was Emily and your sister's name was Hannah, but he did everything so perfectly. No traces at all. It took me years to investigate all this and I can give you the proofs and facts. I'm so sorry, Williams. You are the only man I grew up to love, but I don't really know what happened. Please forgive me. You are not to be blamed, Hannah. I have been praying for this day, but I thank God it finally come. I disown my dad from now henceforth, and I will make sure I expose all his dark secrets. Hi, babe. The police has delved into action. They have assured us that Angela will be found soon. <clears throat> Mr. Christopher. Williams. Babe, do you know him? I'm done doing my time in the prison. I'm out for good. My darling, why have you been ignoring my calls? The police need you to answer some questions so it can help them in tracing our child's location. How much did my father pay you? I don't understand, honey. What has come over you? What happened to my twin sister? Are you kidding me? What sort of question is that? I never met your twin sister. You told me she died at bed. Shut up, Christopher. You allowed yourself to be used by my evil father. You cost me my peace. Where is Angela, my daughter? Where is she? I, I don't know. I mean, maybe she is. You evil man. I have been living with you for the past three years against my will. You manipulated me. You told me lies. You are a monster, Christopher. Honey, I think you need some medical attention. Let me call Roland. So how with you and Dr. Roland? You are the one that needs a brain reset. You are talking to your husband like that? <laughs> you can't be my husband. You can't, Christopher. Where is my daughter? Where is my twin sister? Where is my joy, you fool? I will leave you to come back to your senses because I can see that you have lost them. <laughs> you will rot in prison, you sadist. I want you to stop crying, Hannah. Christopher just got arrested while he was trying to escape through the door and your dad too. He was picked up by the state DSS this morning. Why did you come late, William? Why haven't you showed up for three years now? Why now that things got out of hand? I was imprisoned by your dad. He accused me of stealing his 150 million. I was taken to court and he bought all the judges with money. Christopher alienated my lawyer and sat for my case. I was surprised to see him in the courtroom as my lawyer but it was already too late. He remained mute throughout the whole day in the court. That's how I was imprisoned for four straight years. That's so sad, William. I wish I was here then to help. It's all in the past now. 
Angela is in safe hands, Hannah. She'll be back with you in a week time, Anna. Her mind is at peace now. Wait, William. Where are you going? My mission has been fulfilled. I have to go now. No, William. I... I... I never stopped loving you. I can remember clearly the days that we were still together. We were such an enviable couple back then. You are out from prison and I think God has given us a second chance with our daughter Angela. Honestly, I... I... can't explain. I'm speechless now. Everything happened so fast. You don't need to explain, William. We are back together. That's what matters. Christopher and my dad will surely face the consequences of their actions. I just miss my twin sister, and I feel bad for the injustice done to her. Mr. Smith is not your biological father, Hannah. Of course, but he wasn't there for my mom when she was pregnant after the sudden disappearance of my father. A father can't do such to his biological children, but as for Mr. Smith, he will remain in the prison for very, very long. That serves him right, William. I'm broken. I'm here now, Hannah, and I promise to be by your side, and we'll be together as one happy family again. I will protect you and our daughter, Angela. I have to go back to the police station now, Hannah. I need to make a statement. Just be safe, William. Of course, Hannah. I will. I love you. I love you too, William. What a sign of relief. Imagine how my own dad, Donald's biological father, manipulated me. I was living in someone's identity. I was lied to all my life. This whole scenario seems like a dream to me. Thank God for my darling husband, William, who fought in a legal way and helped me get back on track. My most happiness is that I'm going to have my daughter back and my darling husband back to me. But for my dad and Christopher, the long arm of the law has held a strong grip on them. Love wins at the end of the day. Though I'm hot and still fighting to get back all my lost memories. But I'm a strong woman. I'll survive. I'm a survivor.